In this video, I'm gonna talk through eight amazing developer tools you're probably not yet using. I'm Rob Walling. I've started and grown six companies, written three books about entrepreneurship, and invested in more than 100 startups. I wanna start by giving a shout out to the Tiny Seed founders who I reached out to via our Slack channel and asked for suggestions for dev tools that they've recently discovered or that they think are lesser known than they should be. Tiny Seed is the first startup accelerator for SaaS bootstrappers. If you're interested, you can check it out at tinyseed.com. But I did wanna thank the founders who took the time to help me build the list for this video. Tool number one is Toastlog. You can find that at toastlog.com where you can get console errors right on your web page. And I love their homepage animation showing how it works. So with Toastlog, you can see errors, warnings, and logs as they happen on your site without having to open the browser's console. And you can find bugs you didn't know were there via notifications in their unique Toast format. In my opinion, it's a steal for a perpetual license. Tool number two is Shotter at shotter.cc. It's a free Mac-only screenshot tools for designers, front-end engineers, mobile developers, and those who care about pixels. I like that. I like that opinionated take. Shotter is a small and fast screenshot app built for those who care about visual design. It can do scrolling screenshots, easily pixelate, parts of your screenshots. It can OCR the text, optical character recognition to tell you what the actual text is saying on the screen and a bunch more. I think it's a pretty cool tool and it's free. Tool number three is CSS Scan Pro. You can get that at cssscanpro.com. It's a reimagined dev tool for web designers. The tool makes it a lot easier to figure out the looks of your favorite websites. So you can hover over an element and get everything that you need, the styles, the animations, assets instantly. So you can copy elements with a single click or edit them with an intuitive CSS editor without writing any code. It's $20 a month or $120 a year. And this is, I think, a good way when you're inspired by something, don't shamelessly copy it, but you know, you can get inspired and learn some CSS and tweak it and, and add your own branding elements in a way that can level up your website. Tool number four is PS PDF Kit, the API. And the quote from the Tiny Seed founder was, I would shamelessly plug PS PDF Kit API if you're dealing with PDFs in any way programmatically. This is obviously an API that allows you to manipulate PDFs and it has a massive feature set. So it simplifies how you process documents with a powerful, secure API. You can fast and easily integrate it, and it enables you to generate, to convert, to modify PDFs. It interacts with Word docs and images and kind of everything you can imagine. So this looks like a pretty full feature tool. The pricing, I'm not even gonna go into it because there's just different levels depending on what you do. They have a SDK, they have an API, they have a lot. If you're dealing with PDFs programmatically, getting a tool, whether you get PS PDF kit or whether you, know, you get uh, another tool, cannot recommend enough having a solid API that is doing all that manipulation for you. Tool number five is PG Mustard. You can find them at pgmustard.com. This tool lets you sift through and see query plans without having to wade through explain analyze in your Postgres database. It can help you find which queries are a problem and give you ideas for helping work out what can be done to fix them. A single license for one user for a year is a hundred bucks and teams are 500 for a year. Tool number six is Raycast at raycast.com. It's a fast, completely extendable launcher. So it lets you complete tasks, calculate using a built-in calculator, share common links, script commands, use shortcuts, do file search, system commands, quick links, floating notes, launch apps, it has snippets, and more, they have a really generous free plan, and then it's $10 per user per month for if you want a paid team plan, but it looks like individually, you can use it for free and get, I don't know, all the value I can imagine that you would need out of this. Moving your hand to your mouse to do things is pretty time consuming. It's way faster to have a command that you can access everything from your keyboard, and that's what launchers allow you to do. Tool number seven is Linear. It's at linear.app and they describe themselves as the issue tracking tool you'll enjoy using. They say Linear helps streamline software projects, sprints, tasks, and bug tracking. Built for high performance teams, there's a free plan, and then there are tiers $8 per user per month and $12 per user per month. And judging by the website, is really well designed. And so if you are in the market for a project, task, sprint, development bug tracker. This is definitely one that would be on my list. Tool number eight is Ngrok. And the founder who recommended this to me said, I've been using Ngrok a ton recently for working with API callbacks and webhooks in my local environment. I'm using their paid product since it's so useful. They have several products, but we use the tunnels feature. 
And I'm gonna admit, Ngrok, there's a lot that they offer. To focus in on just one piece of it, they serve web apps with one command so you can get your local host onto the internet with the minimum amount of headache. No firewall issues, no VPNs. You can introspect and replay requests for a tight feedback loop, connect to any system regardless of network or location, firewalls, VPN, none of that matters. And so that's the idea, you know, when you're building APIs and webhooks and you're on localhost, that's not on the internet, right? So it's this big pain to try to mock things up, but that's where NGROC Tunnels specifically comes in and allows you to you know, get it on the internet in a safe and secure manner. And then there are several other products from NGROC. So this is a super interesting tool, one I had not heard of, and I really appreciate the suggestion. Since I no longer write code day to day, I had to rely on my community at TinySeed to help me build the list for this video and to allow me to help you, you know, to give you this list of eight things that might not be on your radar. And if you're not connected to a community of like-minded startup founders, you should check out MicroConf Connect. It's microconfconnect.com. It's the community that we run. We have almost 4,000 founders and aspiring bootstrapped and mostly bootstrapped startup founders. It's heavily moderated and it's free. And it's a bustling community of folks helping each other out. And in fact, if I hadn't posted this to the Tiny Seed Slack, I would have posted it in MicroConf Connect. I would expect that in future videos, you will also hear me bring up MicroConf Connect as another source of, of a brain trust, of ideas for when I'm stuck thinking about things, I turn to, to my communities to help push me forward. So I hope at least one or two of those tools resonated with you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe to the channel. We have videos like this coming out every week, covering topics helping you build, launch, and grow your SaaS company. So that's it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.